What's up? What's going on, everybody? Sega Man back with another video. And this is the game of today. The game of the day. And also, the most controversial game, I believe, that came out back then. And this is a Sega CD game called Night Trap. And as you can see, it has Dana Plato on the front of it. She was an actress that was in a show with um, Todd Bridges and uh, I can't remember the little dude's name. I uh, can't remember. Right. Gary Coleman called um, Different Strokes. I used to watch that as a kid. And uh, it was just a good show back then, you know, for growing up in my time. And uh, actually, uh, Gary Coleman was also in a game called Postal. And that was on PC. Never made it to console. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about this game because uh, back in the Sega CD era, you know, uh, there was a lot of these games that came out. Uh, that like like Night Trap. They made a lot of these games. You know what I mean? Um, it was made by Digital Pictures. Uh, they did a lot of those digi digital and digitized games. You know what I mean? And uh, it really, really got a lot of flack back in the days. And they were even mentioned uh, at conferences about how violent they thought this game was back in the day. And... Um, like I said before, uh, Sega, because, you know, Sega's my all-time favorite console. Everything they made, Sega Man owns. And uh, it was very controversial about this because there were characters in there. You know, the the uh, bad characters were in there. They had this some kind of uh, machine, like with a handle, and you would actually, for them to attack the girls... They were in this house and kidnapped them. They had like a hook thing that grabbed them by their neck. And they were in their uh, nightgowns and slippers. And I think back at that time, you know, people thought that was kind of uh, violent. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, and then later on, the ESRB came out, you know, as a mature game, ages 17 plus. You know what I mean? But. Um, it just really got a lot of backlash in the media at that time in gaming, like Mortal Kombat. But Night Trap, to me, was very different, very innovative uh, in the way this game was. Now, when you play this game, okay, um, you have to time the rooms that the, um, the bad guys are in, you know? Uh, and you have to be successful at it, because if you're not, uh, you'll end up, the girls will be getting killed, and you have to start the game over again. You have to access codes, you know, in the in the game, and you have to put these codes in, and you have to do it at the, the right time. You know what I mean? So it was like a, kind of like a point and click. Back then, I would say Sega CD might have been one of the first systems to actually, um, you know, bring that out, and uh, I thought it was a fun game, it wasn't creepy, to me it was more like zany, cheesy, B-flick uh, game, like a B-flick horror movie, it kind of reminds you of that, but it also had, you know, it's a shame, like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, it had um, Dana Plato in it, it's uh, sad and poor what happened to her, and the tragedy of her um, committing suicide because um, it was hard to get work really after um, Night Trap and she appeared in like um, I don't want to say rated X movies they were like past R a little bit they weren't like full straight on porn but she did anything you know she had children and she just just tried to do anything to, to get money you know and take care of her you know try to take care of her children and you know, I guess her drug habit, and it's a shame to have to say that. It's too bad that Dana Plato didn't get the proper help, in my opinion, that she needed. But this game is definitely a collector's item for the Sega CD. And um, I, have it in, I have it in complete in the box, in complete dish, 
condition with the booklet and even an insert in there about Sega, Sega products. But um, you have to switch cameras and switch locations. Check frequencies to keep track of uh, actions uh, through the house. You know what I mean? Um, you uh, also have to listen to conversations uh, to pick up clues in the game. And you have to use the D-pad uh, to move. You know what I mean? You have to highlight uh, whatever you want to choose and press the A button. But uh, like I said, uh, Night Trap is game of the day. And it's a very memorable game for me. And I actually still pump this in every once in a while into my Sega CD. I own the Sega CD, the original, that actually the, the um, original Sega Genesis cl uh, clips onto. It kind of looks like the Sega CD, the first one kind of looks like a CD player, which is really cool. And you put the, the first Genesis on top and clip it in, and it has red and green button for access. And I still actually own it, but I have it wrapped up and sealed. Uh, in my archives of games systems that I own, the one I'm using is actually the one. It, it's uh, for the Sega Genesis Model 2, and it's already built in to the base. And you just clip in your Sega Genesis 2, and it looks like a miniature CD player on the side of that. Now I will say this: I do not have the Sega CDX. Now I don't have that. That one's a little bit more rare to get, where it has a Genesis cartridge in the back of it. And the Sega CD in the front, like a carry and go Sega CD, Sega Genesis combined system. That one's a little harder to find, and it's good to find. It's hard to find one in work, good working condition. And if you do, you're gonna pay a pretty penny for that because that's really rare. Just like the Sega Nomad, like the Nomad I have. But this is game of the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Night Trap. Um, check it out. I believe if I correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, you know, let me know in the comment sections below. Didn't this game actually come out for the PlayStation 4? I believe a remake, I'm, I'm not sure uh, if they remade it in, entirely. But the best version of this is the old school Sega CD because they started it first. And I'm glad to have this in my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and a little bit of history. Uh, about Night Trap for the Sega CD. And I will be back with another video soon, guys. And I want to give a shout out to 10H Dragon. Thank you, brother, for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you watch this. Shout out to Slick Slayer that subscribed to my channel. He'll be starting a channel soon, like 100 said. Uh, I will be there day one for 108 Dragon's podcast. When it comes out, I will be in the chat to support my brother. In gaming, and I will support uh, Slick Slayer also because that's what it's all about supporting the true pioneers of gaming, in my opinion, that have the knowledge that are speak facts about gaming because these brothers know what they're talking about when it comes to gaming. They're very wise and they know what they're talking about. They're not going to get on their platform and not know what they're talking about. They're preaching the true facts about gaming news and gaming in general. You know, and I really appreciate that. I want to give a shout out to them brothers. Shout out to 100. Check out uh, 100's channel. I think he went back on Twitch. Check him out. Um, you can check out the podcast that I'm on uh, by Ghost Rider. Check out Ghost, uh, Ghost Rider 730. I think we're doing a podcast tonight, and I'm very thankful and, and uh, happy that Ghost Rider uh, put me on uh, his platform, and we do a podcast talking about um, the rhetoric and, you know, just the hypocrisy in gaming and how people treat uh, the Xbox, Xbox community, you know what I mean? And we also talk about other things in gaming, you know, um, shout out, shouts out to him, Ghost Rider 730. Um, shout out to K Mega. Um, K Mega's a good brother. He has a great channel. Check K Mega out. Shout out to GWG, uh, Grown Women Gaming. Um, they do good stuff. 
You know what I mean? Shout out also to uh, E-Rock, another cool brother. You know, uh, he does videos. I mean, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't do like video, like videos all the time, but he's out in the streets doing the videos and talking about things that matter to him and his opinion about, uh, the, about gaming news and, and what's going on in gaming. Shout out to New Legal and The General. Man, that brother is awesome. Please check out New Legal and The General. Check out New Legal's channel on YouTube. Uh, righteous, cool brother. Um, I always watch his uh, content. He does good stuff. Very entertaining and very inspiring. You know what I mean? Uh, channel. So check out New Legal. Um, check out uh, HeBot. HeBot is really moving up. Uh, with his channel, you know, uh, we are trying to get him up to a thousand subscribers and, uh, in return, like Mr. 100 and them, they're trying to get me up in subscribers, uh, you know, to get up there. Um, you know, I, no matter what happens, I'm still going to do this, but I do appreciate my gaming bros out there shot me out in my channel while trying to get my, uh, subscriptions up. You know, because I, I, I want to do a lot better content. And the only way you can do that is if you get your uh, subscription base up and um, you'd be able to go live and stream and, and do stuff like that. And there's some things that I want to do. But regardless, if that doesn't happen, Sega Man's always going to be rocking the YouTube streets, kicking knowledge to you about my game collection and my opinions on uh, the gaming news and what's going on in gaming. I'm still going to rock out. But I do appreciate everybody coming to my channel. I, and um, I don't care if you give me a thumbs up. I don't care if you give me a thumbs down. This is what I like to do. It's I've been doing this all my life. You know, it's a my best hobby and passion in the world is video games. I'm not going to stop, you know. And if I have, you know, toxic trolls come into my channel, I just block them. And I don't even respond back because they don't know anything about gaming. And they, uh, you know, they go to these other clickbait channels and come and try to spew that in our channels. And they're not worth the time. They're really not worth the time. You know, so thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, that's fine. You know what I mean? You know, I'll appreciate it. And I'll subscribe, subscribe back to your channel if it's a legit channel. You know what I mean? Or if you're just like watching uh, gamers talk about true gaming and retro gaming and gaming in general uh, for this gen and next gen, I'll subscribe to your channel. But I really don't want to subscribe to trolls uh, and then they fake, you know, fake say that they like my channel and then they make all these sock, sock accounts and say all kind of stuff on my channel because if I think you're that way, I'm going to block you and that'll be the end of that. But I really appreciate and thankful that real true gamers come in here and subscribe to my channel. All of them. You know what I mean? So shots out to all you guys. And um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. And um, keep gaming, guys. And, and be true to yourself. You know, if you're a true PlayStation fan, fan, rock that PlayStation. Okay? If you're a true Nintendo fan, rock that Nintendo Switch. I'm a true uh, Xbox fan. That is my brand. And I'm going to keep rocking it. So... Peace out, guys. Xbox for life. Like my wife. Peace.